Hello everybody, I'm Toya. And I'm Robert. And this is Toya and Robert's Upbeat Moment. And my upbeat moment of the week is the endurance of friendship. Enduring friendship, wow. And there's a background to this. For some 37 or 38 years, I have been looking at this empty bottle of 1975 Perrier Jouet champagne without understanding its full background until our chum our enduring chum simon darlow came to visit this wednesday evening past so simon darlow composer we started writing together when he was 17 and i was 18 uh that so that was about 1977 we've been writing since and he came over and we pushed the boat out a little bit my wife uh makes monster margaritas of a demon variety and has now developed her version of a Kia Royale, which is brutal, may I say. So we had two cocktails by Toya and the boat, two different kinds, dear. Oh, OK. And the boat did go out a little far. Did it come home, dear? Well, let's put it this way. The next day, um, you stayed in bed till midday. Uh, I think the answer then, Lavi, to my question is the boat did return to shore, but it was not until the following day. So before I get on to the story of this bottle, um, we were caught by our security on our own ring camera. You know, those ring things on the front door where you can film who's there. New technology. And this film, um, the security camera is monitored by other persons in addition to ourselves. And this is an example of us uh, uh, wandering out in the night at <laughs> five to two in the morning, returning Simon Darlow to his accommodations. Yeah, well, have a look. The women will suck. Come, come here. Come here. Mm. Simon. I, I did all this twice, right? <laughs> Mm. It may take a moment to answer. Please wait. I thought, okay, I respect you. That. I'm standing here. Yeah, that's, that's, what said. that's what he said to me. So I'm standing going, and then people are walking by going, mm. I'm thinking, okay, I'll just look as cool as I can. Because I know. So it comes with some truth that I didn't drink as much as you two did but i drank enough to never want to drink again um, because time's too short to waste having a hangover but this the story of this 1983 i was appearing in a play called trafford tansy playing a female wrestler in london it was a massive critical hit for me and my 25th birthday fell on something like a tuesday or a wednesday and simon darlow organized an after show party for me where the band and a large group of friends took over a top floor on a Japanese restaurant off Baker Street in London and Simon and his girlfriend bought me this and we cracked it open during the meal and it was one of the loveliest events uh, not of my life, but I've had very... Well, I've only ever had one birthday party. And this was it. And this was it. And it, it was just joyful. The, the conversation was flowing. The food was fantastic. We were all drinking sake and having a lot of fun and champagne. And because it was such a precious year for me, we made an album called Love is the Law. And Simon Darlow, myself, and Joel Bogan, my long-term band member, um, were the writers. And they'd all moved into my house so we could write through the night when I got back from the theatre. So we were all there around this table. And it was just beautiful. So I've kept this on a shelf in my office all the time. But also... On this birthday, my 25th birthday, our management gave us this and I've never opened it. And I said I'd open it when I had a number one. Well, we had a number one last Christmas um, with Relax and Trevor Horn. But I still think I won't open it. I'm just going to give it to someone in my will. Um, I, I know who. Uh, yes. So I, I just won't open it and it'll be a gift to someone. So there you go. Wow. Now, 
I have something that I need to ask you. Would you pass over this drawer from the fridge, please? Okay. So I'm in my fitness process for Glastonbury, Isle of Wight, and all of the shows I've got this year. And this is the bottom drawer of our fridge. Now, every Christmas and every birthday and Easter, I buy you lots of lovely things. Sweet things. Marzipan. Um, beautiful, handmade marzipan, marzipan fruit. Which drive my oh, husband bonkers. It's true, it's true. We have Moshi. We have Almond Halva. And, well, it, oh gosh, we've even got crystallized mandarins. <laughs> These are all our favourite things. Now, I cannot live with this in the kitchen. So I'm going to ask you, with me, uh, we'll box it up and you're going to hide it in your office. Is that okay? Yes, dear. I cannot live with anything sweet near me. Um, I, can, I can cope with most things. I can leave off the alcohol, but anything sweet has me up all night thinking about eating it. So these are our upbeat moments. We will see you tomorrow for a vintage and very brilliant Sunday lunch. We had a fantastic amount of press on last week's Sunday it's lunch. True. Um, the elderly the edition elderly version of growing up. Has kind of picked up around the world, which has given us an idea of elderly people behaving badly, which is something we're looking into because we think that our generation should generally behave badly but in the way that we used to behave badly in the 70s and the 80s. Not so much in the 90s. We became adults in the 90s. I have always been very well behaved here. <laughs> anyway, this has given us an idea which we're going to experiment with at the end of this month. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. May you do what you want to be doing and be with who you want to be with. See you tomorrow for a vintage Sunday lunch. Cheers from Robert. Lots of love from Toya.